Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll! Was more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Here's your mail. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Answer. That's the last of them. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, <sighs> There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. 
The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Meredith, I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Lost? Me? Bon voyage! heavier than I thought. I think I grabbed the wrong package. Nope. Wrong parcel. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Sleeping in the backseat of my beat up car Or out underneath the stars
I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? I think I grabbed the wrong package. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here, tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, hon. Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. No, really, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Nonsense. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Don't be a stranger now. <laughs> 